Okay. So welcome everyone this morning to uh, Pi Yoga. Uh, today we will be doing quite a bit on the wrists. Um, we're going to stretch them out a little bit beginning um, and we'll, you know, kind of try and take some breaks too. Um, but especially the first portion is going to have quite a, new, a lot on wrists. So if it becomes something that's a little bit too much for your wrist, um, just do a few of what we're doing. Pause, work it out, and then join back up. I'd much rather um, you kind of do less and stick with it than just stop because um, it becomes uncomfortable. Now, if it's painful, then uh, maybe just stop and do alternatives. So a lot of what we're doing, you can kind of just go on your back and kind of do similar stuff um, just on your back rather than on your hands. Um, so I would say even try to attempt to make those types of modifications um, if needed, if needed for your wrists. So um, that's really all that I need to prep it with. I'm not using any um, props of any kind, but if you feel like if you have blocks and you would like to use that, sometimes that helps with some wrist stuff. Um, by all means, grab some blocks. You, instead of having your hands on the floor, you can just put your hands on the blocks. Um, if you would like to have any other props to use, like weights or anything like that, uh, it's, it, when we get to certain movements that we're standing up and you want to use those for your arms, uh, by all means, go ahead, um, but I won't be using them. We'll be moving kind of quickly through some things, so it'll make it a, a little difficult to modify with weights, but it's still doable, and if you're using them, obviously, you know your body, you know how to, to work things, so um, you can always kind of figure that out on your own. So with that said, we're gonna start at the back of our mat, kneeling. Now, if kneeling, again, kind of on your knees, is just not good for your knees or your hips for any reason. Just come into a, a simple cross-legged or maybe pop up on to some pillows or if you have a block on a block and give yourself a little bit of rest um, from using the knees if that's an issue for you. So bringing your knees together, just kneeling right onto those heels. We'll take a nice big breath in. As we exhale, bring the hands through heart center and back down. Inhale, arms wide and up, and exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Inhale, arms up. As we do, interlace the fingers, bring them behind the head, and press the head into the palms. Open the elbows, take a deep breath, and lift the chest and head. As we exhale, tuck chin to chest and bring the elbows together. <laughs> Excuse me. Inhale, open, exhale, round. Inhale, open, and exhale round. Inhale, open, and then release the hands from behind the head and come into a nice big cactus. Take a deep breath in, really kind of pull the elbows and hands back. As we exhale, we'll give ourselves a nice big hug and again, kind of round the back. Inhale, open, exhale round. Inhale, open, and just keep crossing the arms. Exhale, alternating the cross. Inhale, open, and exhale, round. Inhale, open again. Lift the arms up over the head. As we exhale, right hand comes to the floor, pop up onto the fingertips or the palm, and exhale, little bend over to the right. Really reach with that left hand. It's not so much about how far you bend, but how much you're reaching to kind of Really stretch from hip all the way to fingertips. Inhale up and over to the other side. Again, taking a few breaths here, reaching with the right arm and just feeling that whole side body open. Inhale, come up. As we exhale, twist to the right, just easy twist, and let the twist originate from the core. So start to use the belly to twist rather than using the hands as leverage. Inhale, center. And exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, come back to center. And then we'll interlace the fingers and we'll push the palms forward. So inhale forward. And then as we exhale, bring the palms back towards the heart. Inhale, open. And exhale, bring them in. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, bring them in. This time as we 
press the palms forward, start to lift the arms up and then really reach high so that we're feeling the side stretch, of course, but we can actually push those palms skyward and feel a little bit more of the wrist stretch. And then slowly release the hands. Nice big circles with those wrists, just going in one way and the other. Just kind of letting in all the clicks and everything happen. And then just start to kind of flick the fingers. So just start to flick, flick, flick. And you can go kind of slow at first and then start to go faster, faster, faster. Just warming up the hands, warming up the forearms so that we can really start to use the arm and arm strength and not just the wrists. And then shake it out. From here, take another deep breath in. And as we exhale, hands come forward and just come right into child's pose. Forehead to floor. And just a few deep breaths. As we inhale, slowly come up onto all fours. Separate the knees just a little bit, keeping the hands just slightly in front of the shoulders and a little bit in the elbows so that we don't lock them out. From here, inhale into your cow and exhale into your cat. And if you're a little stiff in the morning, then just make this movement kind of slow and methodical. If you feel like you're already a little bit open and you just really want to start to feel everything, then you can start to go a little bit faster. But again, use the core to ignite the movement. Now from here, we'll start barrel rolls with the hips going to the right and then start to let the shoulders get involved and then the head. So nice big circles with the head to let the neck release. And just kind of feeling every degree of movement here so that you can really start to feel the whole body open. And then switch directions again, just starting with the hips, then letting the shoulders get involved and then letting the head get involved. And then coming back to center, turning the fingers back towards the knees. Toes can be flat or you can tuck them. As we inhale, start to push the hips back towards the heels and let the heels of the hands actually lift a little bit, but keep pressing them towards the floor so that we get a nice stretch, not just through the wrists, but through the forearms. Slowly come back forward. Inhale into your cow, keeping the fingers back towards the knees. Exhale into your cow. Inhale forward. And exhale round. Coming back to neutral spine, turn the hands forward again, and then either one at a time or both, we're coming onto the back of our hands. Again, fingers coming towards the knees. So if this is a bit much on your wrist, and then just do one hand so that you can really kind of play around with how much pressure you're putting in there and you're not uh, going too aggressive right away. Otherwise, if you feel like it's fine on your wrist, you can do both and maybe kind of bend the elbows and lengthen. Hi, Sam. Bend the elbows and lengthen. Just finding, again, a little bit of stretch here, not being too aggressive. And then start to lean back a little bit. So again, we're getting a nice deep, deep stretch into the backs of the wrists. And then take one, shake it out, and the other, sit back again and shake it out. Nice big wrist rolls, one way, and then the other. And then from here, going forward, Palm up and push the palm forward as we gently pull back onto those fingertips. And then just kind of release one more time. Pull back and then like you're pushing into something, release. Nice. Again, big wrist rolls. So hopefully by now you're not hearing too much cracking 
or uh, noise, like we're, we're kind of working all of the kinks out. So again, push the hand forward, just gently pull back onto the fingertips and then just let it go. Again, push that palm forward, gentle pull back on the fingertips and then you kind of just let it go. And then nice big circles. Now my wrists constantly kind of crack and crackle and make noise. So when it's not, then I know I've really kind of started to ignite the forearm muscles to keep some of that uh, pressure off of the wrists. And then again, shake it out. So we're coming forward onto all fours and start to really feel the knees Press down, hips over the knees, lift the lower belly, close the lower rib cage, and feel nice and firm and strong through the front body. From here, again, hands can be slightly in front of the uh, shoulders. Try and resist the urge to keep them way back far. You either want them directly under or forward so that we can really balance when we need. Knees will come a little bit closer together, so they don't have to touch, just a little closer than hip width. We will extend the right leg back, just about hip high. From here, squeeze the inner thigh. The more you squeeze the inner thigh, it will actually automatically kind of drop that right hip. And then I want you to squeeze that right quad and squeeze the right bum. Inhale, left arm forward for just a moment, and then bend the elbow and bring the hand behind the head. Elbow out to the side. Again, a little tiny bend in that right elbow so we don't block it out, but we keep the ignition of the bicep and the tricep. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, knee and elbow come together. Inhale, extend. Exhale, in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, really squeeze heel to butt as we bring it in. So this is four. Extend. Five. Extend. Six. Extend, seven, eight, nine, keep the belly in, and 10. Extend the leg, bring the hand back onto the floor. We will tuck that left toes under, again, squeezing inner thighs, keep that right leg really ignited. Push-ups here. So bringing the weight forward, elbows out to the side. Hip or chest dips down, and lift, two, Lift, three, four, five, keep squeezing the inner thighs, six, seven, and eight. From here, we're pushing the hips back. Can the hips come towards the heel? And then inhale, come forward. Again, reach it back, squeeze that left, right leg, and forward. You should feel this in your left hip as well. Back and forward, four, and forward, and five, and four. Now add a push-up. Push-up, push the hips back. Push-up, and back. Keep the right leg lifted if you can. Push up if it needs to come to the floor, just rock the knee. Four, and back, and five, and back. Keeping that right leg lifted. We haven't let it go. We're squeezing muscle to bone and squeezing the inner thighs. Pelvic floor lifted, belly lifted. From here, left toes are tucked. We're going to lift the rest knee and hover. So we're hovering for five, four, three, two. Now, anytime you need, drop the left knee. Otherwise, knee to nose. Right knee in, extend. Two, extend. Three, Four, control. Five, it's not about going fast, it's about controlling. Six, seven, and eight. Extend, hold for five, four, three, two. Left knee drops. Again, push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Lean back, hips towards the left heel, right leg. Lifted and push up and back and push up for three, push up, four, push up, and five, push up. Come back to center one more time. Lift the left knee, hover for five, four, three, two, one. Knee to nose for one, 
extend. Two, three, four, five. Try and keep the butt down. Six, feel the left quad. Seven, and eight. Lift the left leg and three-legged down dog. Right leg stays lifted. Stack right hip over left, bend the knee. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Slowly drop the right foot towards the floor and let it kind of just the toes come to the floor. From here, we'll lift the right leg for one, two, three, four. Squeeze that right butt. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now we're going to arc the leg. So right leg comes over to the left. Try and keep the hips as square as possible. We're going to arc it up and over to the right just a little. Up and back and then to the right. To the left and to the right. Left, right four. Left, feel the belly working. Right five, left, pressing to the fingertips. Six, left, seven, left, eight. Lift the right leg up. Now option here is to take right knee to right shoulder and shift forward, or to tap the right leg or right foot to the outside of the right hand and lift it back up with a straight leg. You decide. Here we go. For one, shift back. Two, Shift back, three, and back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, and eight. Back more, you keep the core nutted, the easier it'll be on your wrist. Now this time, either right knee to right elbow, or again, keeping the leg long, right toes to right wrist with the leg long. So we'll shift it forward, tap and back. Two, squeeze the quads. Three, use the belly. Four, five. My right leg's definitely feeling it. Six, seven, squeeze the belly in and eight lift it up and drop the right toes to the floor down dog take a deep breath in and exhale push the hips back open that right hamstring inhale we'll come forward and hover the knees and then exhale lift back up down dog inhale hover exhale back hover three and back Hover four, keep the shoulders engaged. Hover five, and back. This time we'll roll forward, high plank, and back. High plank, and back. Feel all the muscles working, engage, engage, engage. Four, it doesn't have to be a hard move to make it hard. You can engage everything and stimulate everything and actually make a very simple move quite difficult. From here, down dog push up. So just separate the feet about a hip width if they're not. Angle the hands in towards each other just a little bit. And then we're going to start to bring the head towards the floor, elbows to the side, and then up. Two, up. Three, four, belly in. Five, rib cage in. Six, pelvic floor lifted. Seven, and eight. Drop the elbows to the floor, dolphin pose. Now, hands can be separated or together for dolphin push-ups. So if you're good, you can stay here. You can even drop to the knees to do these push-ups as we shift forward and back. Otherwise, staying in your dolphin pose. Coming forward, trying to bring chin towards your fists. So forward and back. Two, back. Engage the back of the arms. Three, sides of the rib cage. Four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. If the hands are together, separate them. And again, if you need, drop to the knees. You can do this on the knees. So I'll demonstrate on my knees. Knees can be dropped. We'll push into our forearms, shift forward into chaturanga, back to a kind of plank on our knees, and then back to your modified dolphin. That's the modification. Otherwise, dolphin. And we'll come into chaturanga. So shift forward, chaturanga, push up, back to down dog, and then drop those elbows. Here we go again. Chaturanga, press up. Down dog, elbows to floor. Chaturanga, up, back, elbows to floor. One more. Chaturanga, up, back, and pause. Down dog, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, knees to floor, and push back, child's pose. Slowly roll up to a seat on your heels again. One more time. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, round right over left. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Cross again. Inhale, open. And cross. Inhale, open. Cactus the arms. Bring the hands behind the head. Push the head back. Exhale, elbows in. Touch in the chest. Inhale, open, just opening the back of the body, which took a lot from what we just did. Let's guess what? We get to do it again, yay. Inhale up and exhale, hands down. Again, nice big wrist rolls, one way and then the other. Shake them out. And then again, flick, 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 as fast as you can go for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, shake it up and come forward onto hands and knees. This time, left leg reaches back. Lift it up, squeeze the inner thighs, lift the lower belly and close that lower rib cage. Firm, firm, firm. Right arm it reaches back, cactus the arm, and then bring the hand behind the head. I want you to catch this because I want you to engage the back body, the back rhomboids, the back of the shoulders, the deltoids. From here, inhale, exhale, knee to nose, or sorry, elbow to knee, inhale, exhale, squeeze heel to butt, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, squeeze in, inhale, exhale, five, little bend in that left elbow, six, inhale, Seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, and inhale, 10. Extend, release the arm, bring the hand to the floor. Again, push-ups, elbows to side for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. From here, pushing back. So bring those right toes under you. Press back and forward. Back and forward. One more time. Back and forward. Now adding that push up. Back and push up. Two. Push up. Three. Push up. Four. And push up and five, and push up. Coming back to center. Now we're gonna lift the right knee, so squeeze those inner thighs, lift and hover for five, four, three, two, one. Left knee in, extend, two, extend, three, extend, four. How low can you keep the right knee? Five, six, seven, little bend in the elbows, eight, extend, hold for five, four, three, two, one, drop the right knee, again push-ups, one, two, three, four, 
five, push the hips back and forward, push up for one and back, two and back, three, keep squeezing that left leg, four and back and five and back. Again, coming to center, keeping those toes tight, squeeze the left leg, lift and hover for five, four, three, two, one, left knee in, extend, two, three, four, keep low, five, just the leg moving, six, seven, and eight, hold for five, four, three, two, one, lift up and back, three-legged down dog, take a deep breath in, and exhale, left toes come towards the floor and pause. So we're hovering those left toes. We're just going to lift and lower nice and easy. Squeeze the butt. Lift and lower. Press into the fingertips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, right those over to the left. Try and keep the hips as squared as possible. Squeeze those inner thighs. We'll arc it up and over to the left. Just tap the toes. Up and back to the right and left. Nice and controlled. And left. Right and left. This is five and left. Six and left. Seven, left, and eight, and left. Lift that right leg back up. This is where either knee to shoulder or long leg to outside of wrists. So here we go. For one, and back, two, back, three, squeeze, 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 four, even if you only use three, just try five. Six, seven, and eight, and back. Now, left toes to wrist or left knee to elbow. So squeeze it in, squeeze the quad, and back. Come up onto those toes. Forward and back. Three, back, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Drop those left toes. Take a deep breath in, down dog. Again, hover the knees. So inhale, hover, exhale, down dog. Inhale, hover, exhale, down dog. For three, and back, four, back, and five, and back. Coming into high plank, roll forward, and back. Use those abdominals, two, back. Feel all the movement, three, squeeze, 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 four, and five and back. Again, angling those hands a little bit more towards center, elbows out to the side. We're dipping the head down for down dog push-ups. So down and up. Two, three, press into the fingertips. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn them forward and come down onto those forearms. Again, same option, modify on the knees if needed. Um, hands come together, interlace the fingers, press the fist into the floor, Dawson push-ups for one, two, three. Feel what your body is doing. Four, do you find inconsistencies? Five, try and work those out. Six, ignite the muscles that maybe are dormant. Seven and eight. Coming back to dolphin. Again, coming onto your knees if needed. Separate the hands. Coming into chaturanga. So from here, 
chaturanga, press up and back, drop those elbows. Again, chaturanga, up, back, drop the elbows. Chaturanga, up, back, drop the elbows. One more, here we go. Chaturanga, up, back, drop the knees, and child's pose. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Slowly roll on up, big shoulder rolls. Coming back. And forward. Lift the arms up. Get a nice big stretch, maybe interlace the fingers and exhale, release down. Again, nice big wrist rolls one way and then the other. Shake them out and then come forward. So I'll show the modification first. We will extend the right leg and you will either just bring cross right knee to left elbow and extend, just staying like this, or we'll come into plank and drop the hip. So you decide whether you stay on the left knee or come into full plank. Lift the right leg up, cross knee to elbow, dip the hip, extend, two, extend, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. From here, step the right foot wide of the right hand, coming into lizard, but with the knee up. So from here, step the hands forward. You can pop up onto the fingertips if needed. You're either going to just step the left foot in and send it back. That's the modification or come through to pistol and tap the left foot with the right hand. So left hand will go out to the side just a little bit. So you can squeeze the left knee in, come down, tap, and then lift and come back. Okay, so here we go. Either stepping forward or pistol squat. So come forward, lift, step back. And two, step back. Three, step back. Four, back, five, back, six, squeeze that left knee into the chest, seven, and eight, and back. Drop the hands back onto the floor, drop the left knee. Take a deep breath in, let the hips drop, chest forward. Maybe roll around from side to side. And then plant the hands, tuck the left toes, lift up, reach right leg up and back, stack right hip over left, stay here, or wild thing, drop the right toes, inhale, open, take a deep breath in. And then as we exhale, either down dog or vinyasa, your choice. And pause. Same thing again, drop to the knees if needed, and the right knee will come to the floor, or high plank. Left knee lifts, your choice, we're crossing. Left to right, here we go. One, extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Step the left foot wide. Pause, keep the right knee up. Again, your choice. Step the right foot forward and back, just stepping right towards the left foot. Not having to go any further, keeping the hips low though, or bring it through to pistol. So if you're coming into pistol, right hand goes out to the right just a little bit to allow the room. Squeeze that right thigh and knee in. So here we go. For one, step back. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Step back, 
drop the right knee and come into lizard. Again, any version of lizard you want. Roll around if you want, come down onto your forearms, whatever feels good. And then come back up. From here, step the right toes, press the hands into the floor, lift that left leg up, stack left hip over right. Stay there or flip your dog, wild thing. Take a nice deep breath in. And then either down dog or vinyasa, your choice. And back. Now from here, we're gonna hop to a seat. Yay, off our wrists for a little bit. So go ahead and give those wrists one more bit of love here. And then lengthen those legs out. We're gonna separate the legs about hip width, keep the toes coming back towards the head, squeeze the thighs so much that it's almost like the ankles come off. We're gonna roll down, and we're gonna do some roll-ups. Hands can come onto the thighs to help support and lift. You can bend the knees if needed, or hands come behind the head. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, suck the belly in. Start to roll up. As we do, roll forward. Inhale up, exhale, curve the spine, come back down. Inhale up, inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale back. Extend the arms behind you, inhale. Reach them for exhale, reach, reach, reach. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Reach as far as you can. Exhale, it's like you're resisting each movement. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale, slowly roll onto your back. And if you come off your mat like I have, go ahead and slowly come back down. Bend both knees and bring the feet and knees together. Extend the right leg long. Now again, you can use your hands as support to kind of walk up if needed. Otherwise, arms come behind the head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly roll up and come back down. Exhale up and down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale down. Now we're adding on. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, come to boat. Right leg down, twist to left. Come back to center and boat. Slowly left foot down, roll back down. Inhale up, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center, and boat. Right foot down, twist to left. Come to center, back to boat. Left foot down, roll back down. Reach and come back up. Twist to right, come to center. Boat, right foot down, twist to left. Come back to center. Boat, left leg down. Come all the way back. Come all the way up. Twist to right, center, switch, right down, twist to left, center, boat, now left foot down this time, twist to right for one, two, control, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, come back all the way down, and reach the arms back, switch legs, right foot down, left leg up, squeeze the knees together, inhale up, and exhale down, use the core, lift the pelvic floor, and back down, and up, and down, now adding on, lift up, twist to left, come back to center, boat, left leg down, twist to right, center, Boat, right leg down, slowly roll back. Inhale up, twist to left, center. Boat, 
left foot down, twist to right, center, boat, left foot down, roll down, and up, twist to left, center, boat, left foot down, right, center, boat, left foot down, and roll down. One more, lift up, twist to left, center, boat, left foot down, twist to right, center, up, right foot down, now twist to the left for one, center, two, control, three, four, feel it stemming from the midsection, five, six, squeeze the left quad, seven, and eight. Come back to center, roll down, and release the foot. Bring the knees into the chest, and give a nice tight squeeze. Inhale from here, and we're gonna roll up and try and come to a hover right onto uh, our sit bones. So you're either gonna stay here, the knees bent, bent knee, or full boat. And we'll hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, maybe arms come up, four, three, two, and one. Slowly roll on down and bring the knees back in. So we're gonna come into jackknife and I'm gonna show you some options for modifications. So option one, keeping the knees bent, pulling everything in, lifting the hips, and then tapping the toes back down. So nice and easy, just lifting the hips, tap the toes. Option two, lift the hips, keep the knees bent, and then just extend the legs long. Bring it in, lift and extend long. Option three is to keep the legs long. So we'll lengthen them up. We're gonna try and lift. So we're using the arms against the floor to lift everything up and we're using that core and pelvic floor. So we'll lift up as high as we can, come back down, extend, and then up high and extend. So if you decide, maybe you do a couple of all of them. So here we go. For one, and extend. Two, three, four, five, nice and controlled. Six, not about speed, it's about what you can control. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come back down. From here, going into the 100. If needed, feet come to the floor as we lift and pump. Knees bent, legs long, or at a 40 to 5 with knees out, heels together. You decide. So here we go. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift and pump. Deep breath in for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep staying like this or arms come behind you and pump for inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, bring the knees in, whew, and take a breath. Let the arms come to the side, let the knees drop over to the right, take a deep breath in. Exhale, come back to center, knees drop over to the left, inhale, and exhale, knees come back to center. From here, feet come to the floor, hands come to the floor, pressing the shoulders back of the head into the floor, keep the neck off. We're going to keep the feet about a little less than hip width apart, and Definitely just out of range of touching the fingertips. Coming into bridge lifts, so press, especially through the big toe mound and the heel, 
but then make sure you're still pressing into the pinky toe side too. Inhale, lift the hips, squeeze the butt. Exhale, tap the butt down. Lift for one, down, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pose for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the right knee in. Keep it bent or long. Tap it down and up. Two. Press through that left heel. Three, four, squeeze the right quad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lengthen the right leg long and squeeze it in. Long, squeeze it in. For one, two, three, four, five, keep the hips up, six, seven, press through that left heel, and eight, bring it up. Now we're gonna bring the arms out to the side, bend the left elbow and bring the left hand behind the head. We're gonna extend the right leg long. As we exhale, let the hips drop and bring right elbow to, I mean, left elbow to right knee. Inhale, lift, extend, exhale, bring it in. First two, in, three, in, four, try and lift the hips, five, six, keep the core engaged, seven, and eight. Come back to center, release the right leg, and hands back next to the hips. Again, adjust the feet if they've gone out, and we're going to lift and lower for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, keeping the right knee in, bent or, or left knee in, sorry, bent or long. Tap and lift for one, two, three. Press with the right heel. Four, lift, five, as high as you can go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend it long, bring it in. Extend long, bring it in. For one, two, keep the hip high. Three, four, press into the right heel. Five, six, keep the core engaged, seven, and eight. Now, arms out to the side, right hand behind the head. Extend the leg long. As you bring it up, dip the hips, bring right knee or right elbow to left knee. Lift it up and bring it in. For two, three, four, lift it high. Five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it in and bring the legs in. Take a deep breath and exhale. Bringing the right leg long, left foot to the floor, and then extend the left leg long. Flex the left toes, squeeze the left leg, and especially the left thumb. Hands can either be next to you or for a little bit more leverage, you can bring them out to the side. Leg circles, going out to the right, wide and back in. Point the toe for one. Core's engaged, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction, across, across the left side, back. Try and keep the right hip still, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. From here, we'll flex in little pulses as we flex, point, flex, Point, flex, point. For one, two, three, four. Keep the left foot flexed. Five, six, belly's pulling down. Seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Out to the side and squeeze back up. So we're extending to the side and then squeeze it up for three, up, four, up. You're trying to lift as fast as you can. Five, like six, seven, snap it up, and eight. From here, bring that right leg in, hold on wherever you can, lift the torso. We're gonna try and bring it in, lift the left leg, point the toes, and we'll switch for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring the legs back in and pause. Keeping the left knee in, extend the right leg long. Lengthen that right leg, point the left toes, flex the right, squeeze the right leg. We're going out to the side and back in for two. Really feel the everything working. Feel your femur head in that hip bone moving but feel the muscles around it, keeping it nice and safe and kind of adding to the movement. Six, seven, and eight. Cross the body. One, two, three, four. Keep the hips as still as you can. Five, suck that belly in six, seven, and eight. Again, flex and point, flex, point, little pulses, flex, point, flex, point. For a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Out to the side, snap it back in. Side and snap. Three, up, four, up, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring the leg back in. Again, hold on where you can. Point the toes, both right and left, lift the torso. And we'll switch, this time pulsing two times for one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, and one, two. For three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, bring the knees back in, and we'll roll up to a hover. Again, either holding on to the front of the knees this time, or if you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, interlace the hands behind the head, connect elbow and knees together, and don't let that connection go. We're gonna roll like a ball, so here we go. Rolling back and up, try and hover, and back, and hover for three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come up from here, holding on to one leg. So I'll hold on with the left and extend the right slightly just so you can see. If needed, drop the left foot to the floor and even step it forward a little bit. If you can hover, hover, holding the left leg off the floor. Extend the right leg long. We're gonna lift and lower for one, two, snap it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch legs, right knee in, extend the left leg long. Can you hover? For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it back in one more time. Over to the right for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch left leg for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring the knee in. Now we're going to roll back and try and come up into chair. Just five times. Roll back, come up, reach chair. If you need to use your hands, use your hands. Even if you only do one, come up. Three, 
come up four up and five hold your chair for five four three two one twist over to the right left elbow outside of right knee for five four get low three two one either come up onto those left toes and just stay there or squeeze heel to butt and maybe extend the leg and hold for five four three two one, step the left foot back. Hold your twisted lunge for five, four, three, two, and one. Come to crescent, hold crescent for five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go to the left and either come into a wide leg forward fold or skandasana. So one is accessible, or if both are accessible, just decide which one you want. Now, if you're in Skandasana, you're gonna let your bum come to the floor. Hold on to the left ankle with the right hand and twist to the right, or not twist, but lean to the right. Now, if you're in wide leg forward fold, you're just gonna bring the right hand to the floor and twist that left arm up. So you decide which you want. Two deep breaths. And big, big breaths. It should feel really, really good. Inhale, come back up. As we do, we're gonna shift forward and bend into the right knee and drop the left. Inhale up into Anjaneyasana. As we exhale, let the hips drop, let the arms drop. Big shoulder rolls back one at a time, and then forward. Inhale, arms up, Anjaneyasana. Flip the left toes, come back up into crescent. Drop the arm, well, keep the arms up, and we'll spin the arms forward. Nice, big, big circles with the arms, and then back. From here, open up, warrior. Take a deep breath in, get really, really low. Inhale, reverse. And then as we exhale, we'll come back into crescent, but twist to that twisted lunge. From here, step back into the twisted chair. Inhale, come forward, and exhale, vinyasa or just down dog. And then we'll come forward again. And hover down into those chair rolls. So here we go, back and up to chair for one. And back, two, and back, three, and back. And four, hold your chair for five, four, three, two, one. Hands to heart center, twist to the left. Get low, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come up onto those right toes or extend the leg and try and hold and hover for one, two, three, four, five. Now step back. Twisted lunge for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming over to either wide leg forward fold with the left hand down this time, right arm up, or skandasana, pausing for just a few breaths, lifting out of the chest, and then dropping onto the bum. Holding on to the right chin with the left hand and twist or leaning, side bending to the left. Deep, deep breaths here. Do whatever you need to do right now to just make it feel good. 
Inhale, come up. Now this is where we'll shift forward. Bend into the left knee and drop the right. Inhale up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hips drop. Arms come down. Shoulder shrugs back one at a time. And then forward. Inhale, arms up. As we exhale, push up into crescent. Again, arms forward, spin them forward. And then back. On this last windmill, open up, warrior two, getting low. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, slowly coming back to center and twisting right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Stepping the right foot forward, twisted chair. Coming up, chair. And then lift up and exhale, hands to heart center. Step the feet wide. Lower down into Malasana. Three deep breaths. Hands come to center. Lift the hips, turn the toes forward, but keep the feet wide. Take a deep breath in and exhale, fold forward. If you want to go really deep, grab behind the ankles, try and get the forearms to touch the calves and squeeze in. Relax the shoulders though. Relax the jaw and just keep feeling like from stemming from the core, even from the pelvic floor, you're just lengthening crown of head to the floor as you smush yourself in. And it should feel really, really good. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, slowly come down. Bringing the feet together into Baddha Konasana. And then bring them forward. So I want more of a diamond shape. Take a deep breath in. And either hands to the feet and fold in. Or scoop the hands under the shins and fold in. Inhale, come up. As we do, lengthen the left leg forward, swing the right leg around and come into a wide leg forward fold or wide leg position. Scoot the hips forward just as much as you can without rounding the back. Keep the toes coming back towards the head, but push the toe mounds out. From here, stay here or start to walk the hands forward. Coming down just as much as you want or feels good. Inhale, come up. Now, from here, we're going to go into pigeon pose on the left. So your option is to kind of lift yourself and come to down dog and step the left foot forward. Or if you can, maybe challenge your mobility a little bit by bending the left knee, pushing yourself forward, and then wiggling the leg back. So it's quite a bit of hip mobility to go into that. So if it doesn't work today, you know it's something you can work on or attempt to work on. And once you're in his pigeon position, our squirrel is saying hi. She hasn't left us. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, fold forward just a little bit. I want you to actually just lean the chest forward and hands can be on the floor or popped up onto those fingertips. Take a deep breath in, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift back up. Adding some movement here, exhale forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward, inhale up. As we exhale, come forward and pause wherever you want to be.
Inhale, come up. As we exhale, lean onto the left hip, swing the right leg around, and either lengthen that left leg if needed, or keep it bent and come into a nice twist, as deep as you want. And then come forward. Again, coming into pigeon pose on the right now. Swinging that left leg back. Getting into position, taking your time as needed. Once there, bring those hands forward. Lean down just a little bit to kind of find where you're at and lengthen through the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. And exhale, fold. Inhale up. It's like you're milking that hip. And as we exhale, slowly come down as far as you want. Inhale, slowly come up, lean onto that right thigh, swing that left leg around, and again, Lengthen the right leg if needed and come into a nice deep twist. Come back to center. Lengthen the legs out. Take a deep breath in and exhale forward fold. Inhale, slowly roll up. If you would like to take some time, I definitely encourage you to come into Savasana, lengthen out, maybe crop up and get super comfy. Stay for a good five to 10 minutes or better yet, go into a meditation. Use all this expended energy to get your kind of everything out so that you can sit in calm. Or maybe even your meditation is just looking out the window and just being quiet and contemplative for, five minutes or so. Thank you so much for joining me today. I was so happy to see your faces. Hopefully we'll see you in the studio soon. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day.